Hi, this is Mark Wade at centercitycondos.com, Berkshire Hathaway Fox and Roach Realtors. In this podcast, I'd like to share with you some feedback that I generally get from buyers after I show them a variety of buildings in the 19147 zip code. I've been a realtor in this town for 35 years, and I hear kind of hear it all. So here we go. Let's start out with Abbott Square. I think most buyers are surprised, pleasantly surprised, when they see the variety of layouts, especially on the upper floors. There are some unique designs, layouts, floor plans that you're not going to see anywhere else in Center City. And buyers are always appreciative of that. Appreciative of that. If there's any negativity I hear about Abbott Square, it has to do with the old, well, it had to do with the old Wawa that used to be there on 2nd Street, which is now gone. What else do I hear? I hear the lobby. I hear people complain about my buyers always seem to go in and they're complaining about the lobby, how it just needs, it needs some fixing up, they say. It's been a while. It's a little bit outdated in their eyes. What else do I hear about Abbott Square? No pets. I get that complaint all the time. There are no pets, no dogs allowed in Abbott Square. And that seems to be a problem for a lot of buyers. It's a larger building. You, you might expect, you might expect, most buyers would expect it to be a pet friendly or dog friendly. It is not. Moving right along, Bella Vista Lofts. I think most buyers are they go in, they like the building. They, it's kind of lofty, a little bit hard edge. I think they like that. I think buyers are generally surprised to find that you can ha- it's possible to have two-car parking there if you have a, a space with a lift in it. I think buyers are always pleasantly surprised by, or not pleasantly surprised, they're disappointed in the fact that there are so few units there that come on the market. If there's one building in town that seems to be the, a backlog of buyers, it would be 1101 Washington Avenue, just because the inventory there is low and it has been low for a long time. The other thing I hear out of buyers is that the penthouse units, probably the most phenomenal rambling space in a loft in Center City. The views, especially if you're facing north, are phenomenal in terms of the skyline. Overall, pretty good. I never never hear really anything negative about the cleanliness, security, front desk staff, none of that. Okay, moving right along. Hawthorne Lofts. I think buyers are pleasantly surprised by the amenities in the building, the roof deck, the the pool room, the gym. For a smaller building, this this building is very high in amenities. There's no doorman. A lot of the units have parking. Buyers are pleasantly surprised by that. If there's any negativity, the building's kept very clean. I really don't hear anything negative. If I hear anything negative about <clears throat> Hawthorne Lofts, it's the fact that the upper, the units that are by level where they put the loft space in, that the ceiling height's a little low. But, you know, it's a loft that's not to be unexpected, if you will. Okay, moving right along. Let's go to Fitzwater Lofts. I hear very little about the building just because they're, so again, there's so few units in the building and they rarely become available. I think most buyers are pleasantly surprised by the fact that every unit there has parking. Every unit has giant storage area in the basement that could fit a station wagon if you could fit, not that you could get a station wagon down there, but they're large and that every unit in the building has outside space, either a deck or a roof deck or a pet veranda off the living room. But generally, not a lot of turnover in the building, so a lot of people are not familiar with it. When the when that building first became uh, condos, there was a lot of resistance to the neighborhood. Don't hear that anymore. With so many condos that, that have gone in over the past decade or two, I think the proximity to Center City, as far as South Street, Lo- Jefferson, tends to pull a lot of buyers there, which it may not have origin- when it was originally built. And I know because I was the original listing agent for that building. So anyway, this is Mark Wade, centercitycondos.com, telling you what I hear from buyers, what they see, what they say, what they learn in a variety of buildings in 19147 zip code. Questions, comments, or concerns, pick up the phone, push the buttons on the front, 267-237-3404. Thank you.